Suburban Sentinel here, coming to you once again from very deep inside the Arabian Peninsula. Last night, I uh, had the good fortune to be able to get on the internet, which seems like it's a fairly infrequent occurrence out here. Anyway, I was reading a news story that popped up uh, on the BBC, on Reuters, and on some other semi-credible news outlets. And the story was about how uh, police officers from China were being sent to patrol in Italy, specifically in the cities of Rome and Milan in Italy. And this really bugs me. So let's talk about this. So here's the deal, at least as reported by the BBC and Reuters. A few Chinese police officers have been trained by the Italian authorities. And these officers are being sent from China to the Italian cities of Rome and Milan to act as regular LEOs on patrol. Now, purportedly, the reason for this is that there are many Chinese visitors to those Italian cities and these Chinese visitors would feel more comfortable or more safe uh, if they have police officers from their own country on the beat at popular tourist attractions. Curiously, the Chinese officers will not be wearing the customary uniform that the Italian officers wear. They will be in the traditional Chinese police officer uniforms yet enforcing the law in Italy. And I think this is very wrong on so many levels. First of all, the nation of Italy is delegating its police power to citizens who are not members of the sovereign state. That seems absolutely crazy to me. Do you think uh, police officers from China, their first loyalty is going to be to Italian people and to Italian law? I highly doubt it. Also, are the Chinese police officers accountable to the Italian people? If they do something illegal or wrong, um, what will happen to them? My guess is they will just get on a plane and go back to China leaving the citizens of Italy SOL. I don't imagine this could have a good result if the Chinese police officers engage in any sort of misconduct. Perhaps I am just paranoid, but I see this so-called experiment as part of a more nefarious type of conspiracy to get more power over ordinary people. We've already seen the militarizing of police in many nations. Now, to me, it seems that they want people to get used to the idea of officers, maybe even military police, from other countries coming into a sovereign state. One of the delicate balances of power between government authority and the people is that when it comes to the police, there's very few police and a lot of people. Perhaps the elite power structure wants to be able to use worldwide policing resources to put down protests or acts of civil disobedience in a variety of different countries. Let's take a not too unrealistic hypothetical. Uh, imagine that the foreign policing grand experiment program takes off and becomes active in other countries on a long-term basis. Now take for example a smaller country like Germany where a substantial portion of the population is upset with uh, federal government policy. In this case, it would be the quote-unquote immigrant crisis, which would be more accurately described as an illegal alien or refugee crisis. Now, suppose that the Germans want to protest 
or, or engage in acts of civil disobedience. Uh, but the German government has as it, at its disposal uh, the police forces of other nations. Perhaps uh, friendly Frau Merkel could call up China uh, and say, hey, uh, we have all this uh, civil unrest here. Uh, do you have any police officers you can spare? And the leader of China says, sure. Uh, we can send you 50,000 cops who aren't doing very much right now. Uh, they'll be there in the next couple of days. And this, basically an invading army, can put down uh, German unrest with very little effort. And I don't think this is something that we want to see, but it would not surprise me. So if your city or state, or even if the U.S. government thinks about doing this, my advice is to try to kill this in the crib. This is a really, really bad idea. Everyone should be on board against this type of effort. I, don't, I see no upside to this foreign policing nonsense. That's all I have to say for now. Uh, thanks for watching. This is the Suburban Sentinel. Please uh, thumbs up, share, and subscribe if you like what you see. Questions, enlightening comments, and differing opinions are always welcome. Be safe, everybody.